In this video, we're going to look at how we can find the leg of a triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. When finding the leg with the Pythagorean theorem, it's important that we first simplify, then isolate the squared variable. And I'll write x squared, but it could be either a squared or b squared. And then once we have x squared alone, it's important that we recall that the opposite of squaring something is to square root. A root is the opposite of an exponent. So for example, if we were looking at this triangle and we wanted to find that missing leg, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, which says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And the important letter on that list is the letter c. C is always the longest side opposite from the right angle, so the 8 centimeters has to be my C. And the other two can be whichever I want, so let's call them A and B. 4 centimeters is A, and the unknown is B. So when we replace A, A is 4 centimeters squared, plus B, B we don't know, squared, equals C, C is the 8 centimeters squared. And then we can start solving for the b by simplifying first and then isolating the squared variable. When we simplify, we can do these exponents on both sides of the equation. 4 squared is 16 square centimeters plus b squared equals 8 squared is 64 square centimeters. A common error is at this point, students take the square root of both sides, and we need to be careful to never take the square root until the very last step. What we need to do is first isolate the x squared. We need to get rid of these 16 square centimeters, and we can do that by subtracting 16 square centimeters from both sides. When we do that, we get b squared equals 64 minus 16 is 48 square centimeters. Because the opposite of squaring a variable is to take a square root, we can finally get the b alone by taking the square root of both sides. Notice this is the very last step when we take the square root of both sides, because square and square roots are opposite, and we get b equals and our calculator can tell us the square root of 48 is 6.93 centimeters, approximately. Let's look at one more example. In this example, we have a boy flying a kite, lets out 21 meters of string until the kite is flying over the head of his sister, who's 9 meters away. We want to know how high is the kite. So here's our little boy flying a kite. Nice little kite there. And here's his sister, kite's right above her. And she is so far away from her brother, and you notice that makes a nice little right triangle. He's let out 21 meters of string, so that's the string on the kite, and his sister is 9 meters away. We want to know how high the kite is flying above the sister. Well, we know the important letter to keep track of is C, which is opposite the right angle. The other two can be A and B in either order, and then we can use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A, we said we don't know, plus B, which is 9. What did I say, meters? Should have meters on all of these. 9 meters squared equals C, which is 21 meters squared. Simplifying first, doing the exponents, we get a squared plus 81 meters squared equals 21 squared is 441 square meters. And then we start isolating the variable by subtracting the 81 square meters from both sides. This gives us a squared equals 360 square meters. And finally, we can get rid of the squared on our very last step by taking the square root. And a, the height of this kite is 18.97 meters.